The spiccato stroke is often referred to by cellists as the brush stroke. It's an off the string stroke and is produced by dishing the bow to the string and letting it release again as follows. This is a classical brush stroke. You often need it for uh, Haydn and Beethoven. Um, it's important to feel the flexibility in the fingers to produce this stroke and I'll demonstrate that now by playing a legato stroke. This would be a triplet pattern. If I demonstrated this brush stroke in a, an excerpt of a study, it would be the first popper study. And it's a valuable stroke to practice legato first to make sure you've got fluidity and easy comfort in the fingers and in the right thumb. So I'll give you a demonstration of a practice technique for it first, which is on the string. As follows, feeling all the connections across the strings. And then when you go to the brush stroke, you allow the stroke to release on each note. A brush stroke in triplets is generated by alternating impulses from the upper arm. That's every three notes. So you have a large impulse from the upper arm and two slightly smaller hand impulses. And this repeats itself. So you have a down, lolly, up, lolly. And a very small element of that is maintained when you go quicker. I find that practicing at brush stroke and triplets is a really nice way of developing control, and it also keeps you free. When you do it in duples, you have to remember to release on each up bow. When you're practicing your brush stroke, try to concentrate on keeping a fairly consistent contact point so the stroke doesn't splash around too much. Some variation is natural, but within a very small range.